Right, so these are the grinding and polishing wheels. Uh, there's a lid, there's a plastic ring. If you come in, you can see that this is a magnetic disc. If you lift this off, there's a cork ring and there's three black uh, O-rings on here that keep it all level. Um, if you hear a noise like this when somebody's grinding and polishing, it means, just means this is unseated. So just spin it until you hear it fall into place. There's the controls down here. Um, we typically will use a wheel wash, which uh, lets the water run from this little sink. Um, we have the power. We pull that, it turns it on. We spin, and we can control the speed with this RPM. When we're grinding, we're going to uh, be maybe between four and 500. If you're polishing, you can turn it maybe down to like um, 300 or 250, and then just push it to turn it off. After we took our sample from the belt sander, we grabbed a 600 and a 1200 grit silicon carbide paper from a drawer down here. Um, to get these to stick onto the wheel and be flat, obviously they're not magnetic. We're going to take a little bit of this wheel wash, put it on, and squish the paper down flat. Gets rid of all the air bubbles underneath. And we'll take one of these black rings from above and put it around the outside. We're gonna put the plastic ring over that. It's kind of like a water guard. Put our sink in the middle, turn it on, make sure the speed is fast enough, and start some water flowing right in the middle. It's important that the water goes in the middle because it carries the weight debris from the whole wheel. If you have it just toward the edge, then the wheel just, uh, middle doesn't get wet. Okay. So we're going to put it in the middle. Again, we're going to go 90 degrees to our previous scratches, so that'll be up and down for this one. And we're going to hold it at the 3 o'clock position. This small amount of force will feel a little bit of friction from the silicon carbide paper. We can move this back and forth, maybe about 15 seconds, um, until we feel that it's gone through the previous scratches. Right, we can see it's a little bit shinier, uh, and there's some other scratches here from the previous step. So we'll go until all the previous scratches are gone. 